In this video, we will show you how to add and edit images. To add an image, click the Add Option button and then under the Text and Images tab, click the Image Component. Click anywhere on the black box that appears to access the image toolbar. The first button opens the Image Manager. The Image Manager contains all images that have been uploaded to your website. These can be arranged into folders. To create a new folder, click the Create Folder button in the top left, name the folder, then click the Create button. After creating a folder, it will display on screen in the Image Manager window. The breadcrumb trail shows which folder you are currently viewing and allows you to navigate back to the other folders by clicking the name of the folder you wish to go back to. To add images to the folder, click the Upload Images button in the top right corner. Select the images you wish to upload, then click Open. You can also rename and delete an image or folder by clicking on its name. Edit the image name field to rename it and click the Delete button to delete it. Click on the image you want to select. Your image will now be shown overlaid with a rectangle with four circular handles in the corner. You can crop the image by dragging the handles. If you hold down the Shift key while cropping, the image will keep its aspect ratio. You can also precisely set the aspect ratio using the sixth button on the top toolbar and lock the aspect ratio to prevent it from being changed. This can be used to make sure the images in the same row line up. Click the tick to confirm your changes. The image editor also has a number of other useful features. You can add a colour overlay to the image and set the colour's opacity. You can choose from your website's colour palette and you can add more colours by using the colour management panel. You can also set the text equivalent, often called alt text. Those who are visually impaired use software that reads out the text equivalent for images, so this text should convey the same information as the image. The link button allows you to turn your image into a link so that it can be used as a button to take visitors to another page in your own website, a different website, a file, or an anchor. The lightbox function will make a larger version of the image appear when visitors click on it. This can be used to show a gallery of images. The undo and redo buttons let you undo or redo any changes you make to your image. Finally, click the tick to confirm your changes or the cross to exit without applying these changes. <laughs>